Welcome. Today we're going to learn about the discriminant of the quadratic formula. Again, just as a refresher, we have a quadratic equation, some equation where you have an x squared term with a coefficient plus some x term with a coefficient plus some constant equals zero. ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. The quadratic formula solves for x as long as we're always equal to zero, given this formula of minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Well, the discriminant, or what we consider to be called the discriminant, is that part of the formula that's underneath the square root. We don't consider the square root itself just in the sense of that b squared minus 4ac, which is that part underneath the square root, b squared minus 4ac. If it is a positive number or greater than zero, we will end up having two real solutions. If that b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then we have one real solution. And if that b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, then we have two complex solutions or non-real solutions or imaginary solutions. And again, think of why that would be. Again, I'm always going to take a b value, a real number. So let's do an example right here. Actually, let's do this x squared. And again, if you don't have this written down, the b squared minus 4ac, or more importantly, if you don't have the quadratic formula written down, I would write that down. But what I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to make sure I realize that for this quadratic here, my a values 1, my b values 7, and my c values 5. What I'm going to do is just do the b squared minus 4ac. b is 7, so I'm going to do 7 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c, which is 5, and that's going to give me 49, that's the 7 squared, minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 5 is 20, which is going to equal 29. Since 29 is a positive number, this quadratic here has two real solutions. The discriminant is 29. That's the discriminant. That's not the solution to the problem. I, again, I repeat, that's not the solution. That just tells us we will get two real solutions. Now, some mathematicians even go further. If this top one here, if this b squared minus 4ac, if it happens to be positive and a perfect square, they would actually say it is two real rational solutions. Because if I can square root this number, if I can square root 29 as a nice integer, then it would give me two rational roots. But since 29 is not a perfect square, I get two irrational real roots. I'm not necessarily concerned about you remembering that today, but just realize that some math teachers would like you to even say not that they're just, just two real roots, but they're two real rational roots. Let's do this 4 squared plus 5x minus 9 and see what happens. Again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to first label my a. My a is 4, my b is 5, and my c is negative 9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that minus b. Sorry, whoops, I'm not doing the whole quadratic. I'm just doing the b squared minus 4ac. b is 5, so I'm going to do 5 squared minus 4 times a. a is 4 times c, which is negative 9. So now I'm going to do 5 squared is 25. Minus times a minus is going to be plus. 9 times 16, because 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 9, that's what we're going to do. 9 times 6 is 54. 9 plus 5 is 144. So it's 25 plus 144. So that's going to be 169. So my discriminant is 169. Now, 169 is a perfect square. It would square root to 13. Since it's a perfect square and it's positive, I would say this quadratic has two real solutions 
that are actually rational, that are rational solutions and not irrational. The ones up here would be irrational. The ones down here would be rational because that 169 was a perfect square root and it's positive. Let's do another one. Again, we have this one here. 3x squared plus 7x plus 8 equals 0. Again, I'm going to let a equal 3, b equals negative 7, and c equals 8. And I'm doing just the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. Well, b is negative 7. Now be careful here. Again, I'm squaring a negative. It's going to become positive. Minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 8. And so I get 49, which is positive minus 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 8 is 80, 96, 49 minus 96 will be a negative 747, yep, 47, since the discriminant is negative, I have a negative discriminant, this quadratic will have two complex or imaginary or non-real solutions. Now, remember, if that all comes out to be zero, let's try, let's see if I can think of one really quick. Yeah, let's just do this one. Let's do x squared minus, uh, yeah, let's do, uh, yeah, plus 6x plus 9 equals zero. If I was to do discriminant on this one, Again, a equals 1, b equals 6, c equals 9. b squared minus 4ac, well, b squared is 36 minus 4 times a, a is 1, b is 6, or sorry, b is 9, not, sorry, c is 9, a, c, c is 9, so I get 36 minus 4 times 1 times 9 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. Since I get 0, this quadratic has one real solution. If you have questions on how to use the discriminant, uh, please bring them to class, and I will help you at that time.